Welcome, I'm David Ricks. I'm a personal injury trial lawyer in Ranch Cucamonga and the principal of the Inland Empire Law Group. Over the last little while, I've been reading about various cases that went to trial where the defendant admitted liability or responsibility for the accident, but contested the damages that were claimed by the plaintiff. Those cases went to trial and the jury, while they found that the defendant was responsible for the accident, decided that the plaintiff was not entitled to any damages, or in other words, the plaintiff lost his or her case. How is that possible when the defendant admits liability? Well, there's several reasons. Number one might be because the attorney handling the case on the part of the plaintiff didn't do a good job of presenting the evidence to the jury to convince them that the injuries were related to the accident. Another reason is that the defendants and their attorneys are very good at persuading juries that the impact was so minimal that injuries could not occur. Or alternatively, they'll persuade a jury that the injuries that the person claims pre-existed the accident, that it has nothing to do with the accident in question, but it was because of some other pre-existing situation, maybe because of age or another injury that occurred years before. When you have a case where the defendant admits liability, you want to still make sure that you can connect the dots between the accident and the injuries and that's called causation. Did the accident cause the injuries? Did those injuries require medical care? And did you suffer damages that the, that the jury should award to you as a result of the accident? First thing you want to make sure you have is a good personal injury lawyer that can analyze your case and make sure you get the best result out of your personal injury claim. Mm -hmm.